speaker, Joan King, has a passion for evoking greatness in creative ways. When this was not fulfilled by 11 years in a Dominican convent or 30 years in medical research, she founded Beyond Success LLC in 1998. Author, speaker, coach, and educator, Joan will share a different perspective on creativity, one that starts at the cellular level. Please welcome Joan King. Yes, my name is Joan King, and I'm delighted to speak to you about creativity. In a moment, I will talk to you about creativity. The reason I use images is because they have a way of bypassing a lot of our linear processing. And I think that's important because to really appreciate creativity, it takes more than just our minds. So creativity is a topic that allures us all, right? But it's difficult to define. You know, it's fine when we label people as creative. Artists, musicians, jazz musicians. But think about ordinary people. You know, somebody you say, hey, that was a great job. You're so creative. What's the response you usually get? Me? Creative? It's like it's a gift bestowed on some and certainly not on all. Well, I have a different view of creativity. And that's because, and that is because, <laughs> Tim, I need some assistance in the because -ing. Thank you. That's because I've studied cells, C-E-L-L-S, you know, that are in our brain, like this kind of cell for more than 30 years using all kinds of instrumentation. And I truly do believe that creativity is in the life force that keeps our cells alive. Moment by moment, there is this flow of energy into our cells that keeps them alive. And if it were to stop for a fraction of a moment, we would cease to exist. So I say creativity is fundamental to life. I want to tell you a story here, a quick story about the dance of life. And I call it the dance of life because it begins in the brain and it ends with ovulation. And the players here are, in green, are neuron endings, like the endings of this neuron and it's close to a tiny blood vessel, a capillary, which is green, which is yellow, get my colors mixed up, yellow, for the red blood cells that come up and down that capillary. And then green is the non-neuronal cell. What happens at the beginning of the dance is that the neuronal ending is literally caged. It can't release its product. And at precisely the right moment, the cage begins to regress, and the neuron ending is made more and more free until eventually absolutely loaded with product. And now completely free, the neuronal ending can secrete its product into the bloodstream and be carried to the ovary and complete the dance of life by ovulation. This is creativity in action. And it reminds me, this uncaging of the neuronal endings reminds me of our own creativity, uncaged. We've all had those moments when we've been blocked and we struggle and we struggle and then we go in a different environment and all of a sudden the insights arise, the solutions arise. But you might say, so what Joan, what about cells? really has to do with my creativity. You know, I know that they cells are programmed to be creative. Listen to that. Cells are programmed to be creative. We are made up of cells. We have fundamentally within us this capability to be creative. 
However, how do we access that creativity? The answer is as individual as we are. Do you commune with nature? Do you listen to music? The idea <coughs> is that creativity comes from a place deep inside of you. And we need to shut up this chatting cortex in order to be able to reach this place. My message to you is don't deny your creativity, tap into it. <laughs>